40 sometimes it can be tough to gauge if your cat is feeling under the weather or hurting. They hide it better than dogs most times, but there are ways to notice how your cat is feeling. Our Jared Austin has more from Young Williams with our pet of the week. Well, good morning, everybody. We're back out at Young Williams talking about caring for some of our cats and what are the best things to do for them. Joining us is Carrie Parker and Carissa this morning with one of our furry friends. We're going to start with Carrie first. Kind of give us some sure. advice on what, how we should people should care for their cats best. Well, there's a lot of different ways, and, and surprisingly, cats are little bit more hesitant to show us how they're feeling as opposed to dogs. So there's a lot of ways to find out if you're doing it right. Of course, if a pet is, cat is purring or rubbing against your hands and legs or um, even slow blinking, that's a sign that you're doing things right. It's important that they have mental and physical stimulation. Awesome. And we'll get to the guy we have here who Chris is holding. This is Sylvester. Sylvester just came in recently. A little shy right now, but that's okay. Tell us a little bit about Sylvester. Sylvester is about two years old. Um, has not been spayed, it's not been neutered yet, but will be before being adopted. He's a little bit nervous right now. He did just come to us and there's a lot going on here. So the sooner that Sylvester is adopted, the better. Beautiful, healthy, healthy male cat. Awesome, thank you so much, Sylvester. There we go, just a little scratch right there. There we go, awesome. So guys, if you just need some advice there for a cat on how to help your cat out, great stuff right there. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, I've been on Jared to adopt a dog, but I think maybe he's a cat guy. Jared Austin, the cat guy, you heard it here first. 542, your coffee breaks now.